Hi there. Today I will tell you how a model of insect phonology works. It's based on the Butterfly One Box script, which you should open and study now as you follow my explanation. A box script is composed of boxes. Let's take as an example the box called Lava. Lava is a box of the stage class. The stage class implements the distributed delay model. Before we continue, you need to know a few concepts. Lava is an object, stage is a class. We may also choose to refer to them as the lava model and the stage model. The lava model is a specific realization of the generic stage model. Finally, we may refer to lava as a box. Classes are defined in C++ code. Objects can be created in both box scripts and in C++ code. Today we will not deal with C++. The model declared first in a box script is usually of the simulation class. Here it's called sim. Inside sim we find the calendar, weather and butterfly boxes. The butterfly box holds additional boxes inside. The first one is egg, which again holds a time box inside. The larva and pupa boxes are similar. Adult is more simple, with no boxes inside. All these boxes together constitute the butterfly model. At the bottom we've got the output boxes, which we won't go into further details with today. When the simulation runs, it runs in steps. For every simulation step, all the boxes are updated, starting from the top every time, but always updating any boxes inside first. So the boxes will be updated in this order in every simulation step. First calendar, and weather, and then butterfly, from the inside out. X time, then egg, larva's time, then lava, pupa's time, then pupa, adult, and finally, butterfly. Then the output boxes are updated from the inside out. And lastly, the simulation box is updated. In general, a box receives a number of inputs. It keeps its outputs updated according to the current value of the inputs and the internal state of the box. A box is updated once in every simulation step. When the calendar is updated, it uses two inputs, the initial date and time and the time step. From these inputs, it computes the current date and time, which it provides as output. In our model, the time step is kept at the default value, which is one day. The weather model is of the records class, which takes a file name and the current date and time as inputs. The file is a text file with weather readings. A records model produces one output for each column in its input file. One of the columns in this case is called T-Average. The weather model gets the date and time from the calendar. The first box to use the temperature supplied by the weather is X time model. This is of the day degrees class and takes two inputs, the current temperature and the temperature threshold for development. The threshold is determined by species and life stage. The temperature comes from the weather output. A day degrees model outputs the time step in day degrees, which is used by the egg box. Egg is of the stage class, which implements the distributed delay model. Here we set its initial population to 100. Its duration is 140 day degrees. The current time step in day degrees comes from the time output. A stage class has an output called outflow, which in this case means the number of eggs hatching in every simulation step. The next life stage has the same structure, except it has an initial population of zero. Instead, we set its inflow to the outflow produced by the egg stage. The same story goes for the pupa stage. The adult stage is simpler because its time step is fixed to one. So for every simulation step, the adults age by one day. The outflow, meaning the number of adults dying every day, is not used anywhere. Now take a look at the overall picture. On the left you see the structure of the model, how models are combined into sequences and grouped inside each other. On the right you see the information flows 
between boxes through their input and output ports. Information flows freely across any structures on the lift. That's all. I hope that you now feel ready to start developing your own phenology models of insects and plants or whatever you like. Thanks for watching.